Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you two things uh, that uh, you, you might face when you want to pass the SOLIDWORKS uh, Professional Advanced Weldment Certification Test. And I thought I would share it with you. One of them is if you have a corner and you want to bring three members together and then have a mitre connection of all three at that corner, okay? Normally, you cannot do it with uh, this um, structural member, right? So here, I choose one profile I already made, and it's a square profile. And I apply it to these two. You see here, if I say these two are mitre, no worries. It does it just perfectly. Now, if I want to add the third member, it's not going to accept it. You see here, I'm trying to click. It is not added to those two. And if I add a new group here, so I say a new group, and then I add this one, the problem is, if you look, this one, the trim of that is different from those two. You see here, this is not that um, mitre, uh, and it's the, uh, you might call it bot end. So, uh, and you cannot do it, right? So take a look here. You see how they are connected? These two are mitre connection, and uh, this one is this, uh, we call it end bot connection. So uh, can I do that? Yes, there is a, um, you might call it trick, or there is a treatment that you have to do. Let me show you how you do that. So what you need to do is called corner treatment. So first you click on this corner and bring up this window of corner treatment. Here you see there are two trim orders. The first two are trim order one, and they are uh, ordered with an end mitre. But the second one, when you added the group two, you see all of them are off. And uh, if you want to do that, you have to come to the second one and change the order of it to be the same as the other ones, order one. So basically, it is treated for uh, end treatment the same way as the other two. Now take a look here. If I do that, look, there we go. You see? So here we go. I got my uh, mitre uh, corner for all three members. And they might also tell you to leave some gap between these members so it's for like welding or so. So if you want to do that, you just go here. And if you go down here, you see there are two groups of gaps. So let's say um, five mil for the first two and then uh, five mil for the next two. And now you see here, you got these members with the gaps. Okay, if you want to look at each individual member, then you can go under cut list here. You see there is this cut list. If you expand it, you can see each and every one of these members separately. If you want, you can right click on this body and then go to what? Insert into a new part. And then insert it into a new part. And here we go. Okay, so... Um, let me overwrite this. There we go. Look here. See, this is the member that you need to cut. And all three would probably look like that, right? In this case, they are because they're all similar. And then you will uh, you can make drafting for it or anything. So this is what this is a single member uh, tri member corner mitre end with gap. Now, this cut list. Another thing is sometimes in the, that's the second point I want to make, is this uh, in your drawing, they ask you to create this cut list, okay? And for that, I want to uh, bring the cut list of a bigger weldment instead of this one. So I uh, browse for another component and I bring it. So let's say this one here, I brought an isometric of uh, this example here, this uh, uh, table we might call, and they might ask you to insert a, car, a, car, a part cut list table for this. Okay, it's something like a BOM really, right? And if you want to do that, then you go to insert, go to tables, and then you insert a what? You insert a weldman cut list. Now you choose the view and then here again, you see some uh, similar items to bill of material, which configuration the items will start from where and so on. And then I can uh, go ahead and what I can go ahead and uh, create it here. Now you might be surprised when you come down right here that, hey, look, 
This is empty. There is nothing. There is no uh, item under this cut list, although there should be, but there is not. If you see that happening, my recommendation is open the uh, assembly or the part that you have this weldment. Let me open that for you here. Right? So this is that. And you see there is a cut list. But one thing you need to do here to uh, create that cut list in the drawing, you right click here and then say what? Yeah, you can see it here. It says create cut list automatically. If you do that now in the drawing, it will be generated. Let's go back here so we can see it. There we go. You see? Now it has generated and now you can see that for each member, there is an item number, there is a quantity, there is a description, and there is a length for each member that is going to be cut. Okay, so just wanted to show you how to insert it, and if for any reason this guy is empty, then you can go back to the part or the assembly and what in the weldment part file and say create cart, uh, cut list automatically, and it should populate this for you. Okay, so hopefully it was useful to you and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.